Rio has a bit of a grim reaper hanging over it at the moment. There are a lot of reasons that these stickers look like they are going to fail in terms of an investment, and we'll get into that after a quick word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website that you can take all of the skins that you don't want anymore and upgrade them into something pretty cool. Even if the item that you trade for is on a trade hold, it'll be added to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. When you use code NALO, there's actually two bonuses that you get on the site. The first one is an up to $5 bonus when trading skins, and the second one is an added 5% bonus when you're topping up your balance. And this is on top of the 30% bonus they already give you. And even if you don't have any skins to trade, Skins Monkey actually has daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free with a variety of ways to gain more entries. So check out this great site, Skins Monkey, by using my link in the description below for these extra bonuses. Now I'm not going to waste any time here, we're going to get straight into the reasoning for why Rio is probably not going to perform very well at all, and the primary reason is going to be that Grim Reaper that has been mentioned a couple times now in the thumbnail and the beginning of the video, and that of course is the Blast Major that's currently aimed to happen on May 8th of this year. Now we can guarantee at least two different outcomes for the Blast Major, either that they're going to have equally as bad stickers as Rio, or that they're going to have much better stickers than Rio. If you look at pretty much any of the stickers other than the golds, they are just pretty abysmal in terms of their design, they look really bad on crafts as well, there's not really been any any good Rio crafts that I've seen, in my personal opinion at least. They're just really, really bad stickers and arguably even worse than something like Berlin. Now of course this is my personal opinion, but I do think that a large amount of the community agrees with that as well. You may not, but most of this is opinion based regardless. And even if the stickers are really badly designed, they're still going to be competing with Rio directly. If they're way better looking, then buying into Rio will be heavily disfavored in favor of the upcoming Blast Major stickers. So to sum that all up, basically whatever happens with Blast stickers in terms of their design, it's still going to spell pretty bad news for Rio. Now the second major reason that I believe Rio is not going to perform very well is of course the demand backing it. There's not really very much demand backing any of the Rio stickers. There's a couple golds here and there that are kind of popular, but other than those, the vast majority of Rio stickers and the capsules don't really have the demand to back up a price increase over time. Especially as other stickers are released in the future, Rio is really going to show its position at the back of the pack when it comes to stickers. And over time, less and less people are going to be interested in purchasing them for any reason whatsoever. Now we'll talk about this a bit more in the next reason, but if you look at the quantity for sticker capsules that are already on the market, it is very high. And this is people listing the capsules while they are still on sale in-game. It's going to take a large amount of demand to eat through all of that quantity, and that demand just isn't there. And the third major reason, although I do think this is a little bit redundant now, but the quantity on the market is just insane for these stickers. It does look like a lot of people actually did invest into the Rio capsules so far, and there probably is a lot stocked up as well. Like I said, the pre-sale quantity is already up at these 30,000 numbers or so, which is pretty ridiculous considering that you can still buy the stickers in-game, and it's less popular to pre-sell the stickers like this. And for a bit of comparison, Stockholm, which is vastly overperforming a lot of people's expectations is sitting at around the under a thousand quantity area on Steam. Which is also crazy, it just means that a lot of people are buying and opening Stockholm capsules and stuff like that, but back to Rio. Over time, as this quantity is not really eaten through, it will only grow as more and more people try to sell out of their positions. So I really think the quantity of the Rio stickers is a big thing to look at for one of the major factors here. There was some hope for Rio that it could perform pretty well in the future if the quantity was kept low by people being really overly skeptical about the stickers, but unfortunately that didn't even really happen. And people bought into the stickers despite their low demand. So beyond those major reasons, I want to do a little bit of a thought experiment, I guess. Think about a really popular sticker. Let's say, for example, the Mouse Hollow. At the moment, that sticker is sitting at around the $45 area, meaning people are willing to sell it for $45 at the current moment, and people are also willing to buy it for $45 at the current moment, which means the community as a whole, in terms of Mouse stickers, believes that $45 is a fair price to pay and to sell it for. That's why the sticker is stable at that price at the moment. Now let's compare, for example, the Mouse Hollow from Rio. As you can see, in terms of the sticker being used for a craft or even just for some inventory bling, 
it looks nowhere near as nice as the Mouse Hollow from Stockholm 2021. And if people are willing to pay $45 for the Mouse Hollow from Stockholm 2021, and this sticker is far inferior, you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. The future price prospects, especially considering the quantity of Rio capsules and stuff like that, does not look very good at all. No one's going to want to pay $50 for this Mouse Hollow when they can pay $50 for this much better Mouse Hollow. Now, I don't want to make it seem like every single Rio sticker is bad because that is absolutely not the case. There are very many Rio stickers that actually look quite nice. A fairly popular one right now is the INS gold sticker because it kind of looks like a snake for example. And really in general a lot of the autograph golds are pretty cool and fairly popular because the players really took some creative liberties we'll say and made some really cool and fairly funny looking stickers. Now it's also important to mention that there's not really anything under the gold tier that looks very good but that gold tier and above actually has some pretty nice looking stickers. And the gold team stickers are also something I wanted to highlight. Those also look pretty fantastic, especially the Cloud9 and the Mouse Gold. I think the little floral type pattern that the backdrop of the sticker has actually really complements the gold stickers nicely. I think we'll definitely at least have a niche group of people that are interested in those gold stickers for their somewhat unique backdrop. And I mean, let's compare these autograph golds to something like Krakow autograph golds, which are very popular. These ones are arguably more unique and look better overall than a lot of the Krakow golds. Golds. So I do want to make that very apparent. It's not that every single sticker is bad, there are some decent ones in the gold tier and above, and not every single sticker below that is bad. There are a couple decent looking hollows here and there, maybe a couple glitters here and there as well, but for the most part the hollows and below are pretty bad and the golds and above are alright. But a handful of cool gold stickers is not really going to save this much at all. We're looking at this thing as more of an index rather than specific stickers. I suppose investing in some of the gold stickers might not be a terrible idea, those might actually see some decent increases over time, but as for the vast majority of these Rio stickers, probably going to be a no-go. And I also wanted to add that I'm not biased against Rio, I know I'm kind of being pretty harsh on it, and some of you that may have bought into Rio might be somewhat upset, but I want to clarify that I actually really like Rio. In my personal opinion, I actually think the backdrops are pretty cool. And I like how with a lot of the hollows, they went with a very tropical theme to fit the overall theme of the major. However, I also recognize that my opinion is definitely not a popular one when it comes to the overarching community. And when it comes to investing, we're talking about what other people want to buy into, not what you want to buy into. So I thought I'd throw that in. So there's Nalo's wrap up for the Rio major and some things to be cautious about when considering investing in these, some events that are currently happening and are going to happen in the future of course. Hopefully this was informative and potentially helped you come to a decision when it comes to Rio. Again, I do enjoy the stickers, I think they're pretty cool, but in terms of the investment prospects and the factors that I currently can see, it doesn't look too great. Anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, be sure to go ahead and leave a like for the algorithm to help me boost out on there and reach more people. It costs you absolutely nothing, only takes a couple seconds of your time to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to see my videos in your feed and get to them before anyone else. You never know what great investment knowledge I'm going to bestow upon you, so you better be there first to find out. And check out Skins Monkey, they have a little something for everyone. Even if you don't have any cool skins, you can always enter into their multitude of giveaways and get something pretty cool. And be sure to join my Discord server down below if you want to discuss this a little bit more, or check out my Twitter link in the description below. So that's going to be it, thank you guys so much for watching, see you next time, peace.